Hey, I'm Chad from the station. That's a uh, drag t-shirt over there. <laughs> Behind the races. And uh, there's Bo. Hey. And uh, this video blog is about um, moonshine. Because what we just found out is that where Ryan is from, Cricket, North Carolina, is known for uh, moonshine. And I don't understand why moonshine exists because, what, you know, during Prohibition it was because you couldn't get alcohol. But now it's legal and you can buy it everywhere. So, Ryan, why do they still make moonshine where you're from? Some people make it because of the tradition, but a lot of people make it because it's cheap. You can buy a quart of moonshine for like 8 to $12, and you know you can't buy liquor for that of any quality. Well, but you say of any quality, is the moonshine is just like straight alcohol, right? Well, there's several types of moonshine. You can get corn liquor, which is like Everclear or you know 190 proof, which is almost pure alcohol. And then you can get the brandy moonshine, which is the kind that's got the all the fruit in it. You can get like peach, blackberry, apricot, uh, um, where do you buy apple. The, where, where do you buy the moonshine? Like a liquor store, I can go in, there's a bunch of liquor. Do I have to go up to Uncle Jethro's still and hope it doesn't explode and buy my, my mason jar of moonshine? It's very similar to buying illegal narcotics. You gotta know. How would you know? How would you know? I'll just know. You have to, you have to know someone who either knows someone or makes it themselves. Like there's a lot of people that would like do like moonshine runs, like if they live where, like you know some backwater town like Virginia or North Carolina or somewhere. They'd be like, hey, I'm going home. It's like I want to bring back some moonshine if y'all want some. Like yeah. here's here's the common thread <laughs> is that these two guys are white trash. I have I've lived in Virginia for almost my entire life. I have never heard of anyone going on a moonshine run. I have. But when you go, when you live in scabies infested, when you go to Radford, <laughs> you're aware of these sort of things. And when you're from the the back the back alleys of the Smoky Mountains. That this is this is what we're talking about here, and these two trash bags think that this is a normal activity. Hey, my I mean, friend Josh told me that if it burns blue, it's good for you. Yeah, so that's the test. You light it on fire a little bit, and if it burns blue, then it's okay to drink. Because if they use lead pipes to cool down the vapor, lead pipes. If they use lead pipes to cool down the vapor, you're gonna die. Like, you're, you're gonna go blind and die. Has that uh, happened to people? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to use copper pipes to cool your li to cool your vapor. And so that's why you see whenever you see a still, you see those coils of copper pipe everywhere because yeah. you got these copper. They're what is so, do you understand? That, like you can buy like a pint of booze for like seven dollars. Yeah. But what what is the point of doing it's, this? It's like buying a mass produced Budweiser versus a very good crafted beer, like you know. It's it's mass produced or handmade. So you're telling me a multi million dollar company can't make mm -hmm. as good a liquor as some hayseed in a, in, a, in the woods somewhere. That is exactly what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. I've I've had moonshine that you can take by the court and just turn up and drink like like a juicy juice. Like a juicy <laughs> juice. A juicy juice is what you can. Barty, have you ever heard of uh, moonshine? Do you ever drink moonshine? Uh, I've heard of it. I've never had it. I hear that you have to be really trashy and uh, <laughs> ready to, to have drank it in your life. But you guys admit that only trashy people drink moonshine. Would you at least admit that? Well, yeah. I mean, well, well I mean, why are you defending it so Because well, it does taste good. I know. Right. That. Shocker, Bo said moonshine. Just put it on the list of things that Bo has put into his body that are unhealthy. <laughs> Legal drugs. And Bo just I know stop. some really classy people who, who use that as their one uh, uh, vice. vice. Yeah, that's, you know, I know. Who? Well, I don't want to name names. You don't know any really name classy names. people. Name names. Oh, these are you know people of, of very high status where I'm from. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the crap. The, the, Hickory Osborne. Yeah, the, guy, the guy who runs the chicken farm. <laughs> Ryan, also where he's from, there, there's a guy that takes acres of chicken excrement and spreads it out in his front lawn. Not just one person. Is it everybody, Ryan? It's a lot of people. When I was I was in first grade, I was six years old. And they had to close down my school because we didn't have AC, and the field behind our school was spreading chicken litter, and the smell and the heat just ran everybody out of school, and they had to close the school down for the day. And these are the stories we're going to miss as Ryan is leaving the radio station. Uh, low these what two days? Yeah. He'll be uh, going. Two more. So he's out of here. So anyway, this has been the uh, Chad Duke's video blog for the week, and I'm sure CBS Radio is glad that it gave me the opportunity to make these. See you next week. Fun this game!